Hello, I'm Connie Crawford. Today we're going to show you how to take a dress form that is a, and me, it's a size 12, which is a little bit smaller than me, but then we're going to measure it and make it fit your size. And so we're going to do it to my size and you'll see how the process is working. The first thing we're going to do is address the bust point so that we have everything do correctly and the cup size. So we have the cup size is I bought a bra that is my cup size, which is a C or D. And then I measure from the shoulder to the apex or highest point of the bust. And then make sure that this is adjusted to the same measurement the, to the highest point of the bust. If you need to, you can go ahead and pad it out a little bit if you need a little bit more or a little bit less. The next thing we're going to do is measure the bust, full bust measurement and make sure we're one and the same with my full bust measurement. This is 39. I am 39 inches, but I want it to be fairly tight. So see how this is kind of caving in? So I'm going to take a shoulder pad and pad it up with a shoulder pad so it really stays nice and full. Okay, and remeasure it again to make sure it's still 39 inches. And it is. So we're fine with this. And we have, so the shoulder point to the apex matches my shoulder point to apex, and the full bust measurement matches my full bust measurement. If you need to, you're going to measure the, from side seam to side seam to make sure that your back measurement matches your back measurement and that the front measurement matches your front measurement. And that's a good idea to double check it and it matches mine. The next thing we're going to do is measure the waist area. So we're going to measure my waist area and I actually start from the back area right here because you can see your waist right in the back. Measure the back, come around to the front and measure what your front waist measurement is. My waist measurement is 38 inches. So we're going to pad this up till this measures 38 inches. Right now this measures 29. I have to add a lot. 30 actually measured up. Using the dress form from Joe Vecarelli's, we're going to take his fitting kit and wrap this starting at the side seam, come all the way around and wrap the front twice what the, and pin it. What that'll do is give us more fullness in the front than in the back because we are always fuller in the front as we put on weight. So we need to make sure that we're proportioned in getting it. Then we're going to remeasure center front, side seam to side seam for the front, and side seam to side seam for the back to make sure we're the correct measurement. The next thing I did in order to pad up the waistline is I started with a wider piece of padding materials and started from underneath the bra because we fill in fullness underneath our stomach and then come on down and then I wrapped it around the entire front and back area. Then I remeasured the waistline to make sure I am my measurement which is 37 or 38 inches. Using the fitting kit from Joe's Vicarelli's packet I'm going to also now measure my hip which was 42 and then starting from the front and wrap it around so it comes back and wraps into the front twice as much as the back so that now I have it measuring my exact hip measurement also. Notice that I started from just underneath here so everything will blend in very nicely. So we have the shoulder distance, we have the distance from the shoulder to the apex or full bust or bust point and then we have the waist area and then we have the hip area. Now what also happens with 18% of the ladies also have a full stomach more than the flat and a flat tush. So we need to measure sometimes our stomach high hip which is about three inches below your belly button. Measure your high hip and make sure that the high hip area is the measurement you need it and the back tush area is about you need it to be too. So keep measuring to match your body. We are now ready to actually put a shell over this to make it mimic exactly the final fit of the dress form. The original dress form has a neckline, shoulder seam, front princess, center front seams, 
back princess, center back C, back neckline. So we developed pattern CS1301, which is a shoulder princess pattern. And we're able to take that and it comes in all the different bus cups so that you're able to take it. So this one was my CD double D cup size 12 and I sewed up the center front seam, the front shoulder princess, the back shoulder princess and center back seam. But I left the side seams not sewn. As we sewed this up we made sure that it was at least two inches longer than the dress form. So we now have a shoulder seam and we're ready to just hand fit real tight this and this is made out of a stretch lycra so that it's a heavy duty stretch lycra and we're able to now pin all this to fit the body over it and then remeasure it. Now once you finished it what we did it was we pinned very very tight this skin that has the princess seams on it, the center front seam, the shoulder princess. We fitted in, we first fitted the side seams very, very, very tight. Then we looked at the back to make sure that's nice and smooth and pulled it down and pinned it onto the bottom. Then we pulled down the front, but we still needed some fitting within here and on the princess seam, both sides. Now you're gonna continue to measure as you have this to make sure that everything is still your measurements. The next thing you need to do is measure from center back down to your waist distance. Everybody is slightly within about an inch or two. So you've done the same thing by measuring from center back down to your waist in order to make sure that that matches. So once you have that measurement, mark it and then come through and put a twill tape on your waist to exactly where you are to your waist distance and tie it up or pin it in place. Then you have a nice piece of twill tape to define your waistline area. And it's some of you ladies which I do too, I actually drop down an inch from the center back. So I'm actually going to adjust this down one inch from the center back area so that you can see that it comes down a little and that will be my waist, final waist area. The next thing I want to show you is our arm pattern. We have an arm pattern that comes in a small, medium and large. All the seam allowances are on the pattern. You're going to take it, cut it out, and sew it up and fill it in with fill, uh, padding. Then you're able to now pin this onto the dress form so that when you're fitting sleeves, you'll be able to have this your length and your bicep measurement because it's small, medium, large, you've made it to your bicep, your elbow width and your wrist width. So it matches your body and it moves so that you can stick it into the garment sleeve as you're doing a fitting. The finally when you finish it now that you before you put the waist tape on you want to mark all of these markings on the pin and go over and sew it up and or you could just mark it and hand sew it all in place so that it stays nice and stationary. You can once you've sewn up the side seams if you've done that you can open up the center back and actually put a zipper in to get it off and on the dress form. But I, I like literally just sewing it up because you're not gonna be moving it anywhere. And then you have a finished dress form. Thank you for watching. Look for Connie Crawford's videos that will help you with your fitting, sewing, draping, and pattern skills. We will be showing you several of them and even in draping so that you know how to use and fit with the dress form.